Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Bearded Dev. This is going to be a video on an introduction to ClickView. ClickView is a BI data visualization tool that focuses on putting the power of business discovery into users' hands. So unlike report, standard reporting tools such as SSRS that can often lead to requests for more reports, ClickView enables users to actually discover patterns and trends and then the users can take action with the data. It uses an in-memory associative data model, and we'll look at the associative data model in more detail when we look at ClickView shortly. Uh, but the data is actually compressed in RAM, allowing significantly faster response times and reducing the need for load on reporting servers or data warehouses. Data can also be loaded from a number of different sources, any uh, typical a database, flat files, Excel, and any other sources using uh, custom extensions such as SAP. Uh, there is also a free edition, the personal edition, which is available for download at the ClickView website, and I'll leave a link uh, for that in the description below. ClickView can also be used as a, an ETL tool, so if there's no underlying data warehouse, um, then you can use your ClickView as an ETL tool to extract, transform and load that using an N-tiered architecture approach. So let's move on to have a look at ClickView now. So I've opened up ClickView and this is a simple uh, application. In ClickView uh, reports are called application because they're, they're more interactive than what we would typically class a standard report to be. So this is just something that I've quickly thrown together. So we're first of all going to have a look at the associative data model. So I'm just going to bring up the data model here and we can see that's typically laid out as a star schema. I've got my central fact table uh, and then four dimensions. So I'm just looking at some typical sales data that we're probably all familiar with. So this data is something that I've loaded um, into ClickView directly so we're able to actually create data within ClickView, um, so similar to how we would do in SQL, we'd insert into tables, so I've done that. There's only a small amount of data in here that we're going to be looking at. And as we could see there, all the data is linked together. And what we mean by the associative data model is if we were to select something within ClickView, if I was to select uh, a county of East Midlands for example we can see that East Midlands has gone green so green within click view to shows that that is what is the selected value and we also have on the top left a current selections box showing what is currently selected we can see the other customer counties are greyed out because there's no data associated to multiple counties and we can see on the customer city towards the middle left hand of the screen we can see that only Leicester is available within that county so because that's white it means we can associate it if it's gray it's not going to associate to the current selections so if I was to click on an employee here again that will turn green we've still got Leicester available and then we can see the product brand has been filtered to only show Samsung as well but while we've been making those selections we can see that the data in the charts has also been changing so as we make selections because of click view being in memory it's very fast to alter our charts to show data according to our selections and we can also gain a lot of valuable insights just from this information. So we already know that if we was to select the county East Midlands and employee of Mark Rogers, there's no data associated for the product brand Samsung. So there's no sales associate, sorry for LG because that's greyed out. So there's no association there. So already we gain an insight into our data. Maybe we need to, that's something we need to look at to see why there's no LG products being sold in that location by that particular employee. I'm just going to move on now to um, a few little bits that I like about ClickView as well. So 
I've removed the selections now and one of the benefits of click view is we can also make selections in charts. So we can see down on the left hand side here these are basic selections boxes that I can select but if I was to also select Christopher Martins within my bar chart here we can see that that would also be carried out and the daily sales chart at the bottom will now only relate to Christopher Martins. So one benefit is that we can also make selections in charts which could save us room I could actually remove those list boxes on the left hand side and use the page just to show charts as long as we've got a current selections box available for us to remove those selections or see what we've got selected then that data would still make sense to the user Another benefit is that we can simply export this data to Excel. So we have the option within each chart to send the data to Excel. And then we could do further analysis or send that on to any management teams that would need that data. So that is always a benefit built into any product. Excel is the most widely used analytical tool in the market. We can also reduce data based on user permission. So if I was to give this application to each of the employees here, I could also reduce this data down so they'd only have permission to see their, their, own, their own data by using section access. And that is something we will cover in a future video. And I'm also going to go over a few things that I dislike about working with ClickView. So I'm just going to remove the selection on Christopher Martins. But I have this particular table on the top right hand corner, um, employees, which just gives an employee's name and a flag to say whether they're full time or not. Now this is data loaded from a SQL Server database and it's a boolean flag just to say whether it's true or false or not but once you load that data into ClickView, ClickView recognizes true as minus one and false as zero so that can become a problem when you're first starting to work with ClickView, especially if you've worked with um, SQL Server in the past where one is always representative of true in here it's minus one so that is something we can handle within the script um, but it's unnecessary work for us. There's also the problem of when we open the script, so the script inside is a major part of ClickView. So we can see here, this is how I'm actually loading my data. So I'm just actually telling ClickView this is the data rather than loading it. And we can see down the bottom, I've got actually got a connection to uh, my SQL database there. Once we've got the actual script open, it doesn't allow us to open any other applications within ClickView. So for example, I've got the script open now, I'm trying to open another ClickView document, and when I double click on that, it just does nothing. So that's just another little frustration I have while working with ClickView. But overall, there's a lot of different charts we can create in here as well. Bar, line, combo charts, radar, gorge charts, uh, block charts, scatter graphs, and then straight tables and pivot tables as well. So it does give us a lot of functionality, and there's also a lot of functionality that we can actually conditionally hide objects. So one benefit that gives us again is saving screen space, but also based on user permissions. If there's certain objects that we don't want users to see, we can also hide those based on the user that's logged in. Now I'm not going to go through any details of how to work with the script or how to create the charts at the moment. I'd like to move on to that in future videos because there is quite a lot to cover. But I hope you have enjoyed that video just with a, a quick overview. Uh, and let me know if you've used ClickView before and also if you're using any other BI tools or if you'd like to see any videos on other reporting or BI tools as well. So they could be Power BI, ClickSense, which is ClickText's offering uh, in the cloud, Tableau, SSRS, or if you're still using Excel and would like to see some videos on that, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, do check out my other videos on the channel, subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching.